<laughs> Hello, Ngoc. Can, can you see and hear me clearly? Yes. Yes, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. I am asking who would be my new student, right? And then I found out that you would become my regular student regular now. Student now. Okay, and okay. I'm very happy. So our schedule would be every Thursday, uh, Saturday, and Tuesday, right? So we will see each other now every week. <laughs> so thank you for enrolling again. So now, uh, how are you? Yes, I'm good. What about you? I'm great also. I am just waiting for this day again <laughs> because I, I asked our TM last time if when am I going to have class again with you and she said that uh, no need to call you right <laughs> that's why I'm very happy because last night I found out that you will be my new student again that's great so what did you do today mm, what did you do today um I'm just sit at home and learn some class classes online. All right, of course you have class, right? <laughs> so how about a test? Uh, did you have some test yesterday? Mm, yes. All right. So how was it? Um, was it difficult? It's good. But it's I, good. I, I, <laughs> okay, what about today? Do you have test today? Mm, no. No, okay, so I think you have more free time, okay? All right, so are you ready to have our new book? Yeah, uh, yes. Oh, do you have your book now? Um, I will, do you have, I will a, do you have a book? An email. Oh, so I will just send you the book. Mm -hmm, okay, because last time we learned about uh, films, right? But now we will start from the very beginning, okay? So we will uh, talk about films, that is Unit 7, but now we will go back to Unit 1, okay? <clears throat> so I'll share you my screen here. All right, can you see it? Yes. Okay, is it small or is it too is it too big? Um, it's normal. Okay, it's normal. That's great. So here, this is unit one. Okay, and unit seven. That is the thing that we have learned last time about films and cinema. So we will uh, talk more about films and cinema sooner. Okay, but before that, let's talk about personalities. Right. Do you have any idea what does it mean when we say personality? Mm, I think it's it's it mean. Um, I don't know how I can how I can explain it for you. Uh -huh, but you have you have the idea but it's just, you cannot explain it properly. <laughs> okay, so, so I think you know this one. So when we say personality, okay, this is the the character of one person. Your your character, your, your attitude, okay? So like for example, uh, we have different personalities. So you are different from me. Okay, you are different from your sister. You are different from your friends. Okay, so we have different personalities. Maybe you are too shy. Your sister is too confident. He's not shy. Maybe your friends are, uh, are generous. He likes sharing, but you don't like sharing. Okay, so we are all different. And we will talk about that, okay? All right, so what about here? We will learn about vocabulary that is personalities and adjectives. 
In grammar, we will learn present simple and present continuous. And of course, you will describe one's personality. Okay? So are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So we will have first warm up. Okay, so how was your day today? Um, mm -hmm. How was your day? Sorry. Oh, this one. Can you see my screen? Um, yes. Yeah, so let's answer this question. How was your day? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, that's good. Do you think you are a friendly person? Mm. Why or why not? I don't think so. Um, because when I see if, when I see if some uh, new friend, um, I don't talk with with them anymore. Uh, I don't talk with them more uh, because I'm a little shy. So I think I'm not a friendly person. Oh no, <laughs> okay. Because when we say friendly, you are not shy to speak or talk to other people. You wanted to be friends with them, okay? But for you, you said you are a little shy, okay? Maybe you will not talk to other people if they will not talk to you, right? <laughs> okay, what about in school? Do you have many friends in school? Yes. I have a lot of friends. Oh, you have a lot of friends. Oh, I think you're friendly with them. <laughs> <laughs> so you are friendly with your friends. But when you meet other people, maybe you are too shy. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Next one, we will learn about opposite adjectives. Okay. When we say opposite, this is, okay, wait. All right, so opposite adjectives. Adjectives are describing words, right? It describes a person, a thing, or a place. Okay, right? And for example, highly read. Um, kind. All right, what is the opposite of kind? That is? Unkind. Okay, very good. Next. Um, lazy. So what is the opposite of lazy? It is? Um, hard working. All right, good. Okay, next one. Funny. Mm -hmm. Serious. Generous. Mean. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So when we say opposite, my dear, it means it has different meaning from the other word. Okay? So sometimes we call it antonym. Okay, are you familiar with this word, antonym? Mm, yes, I have heard that. Okay, for example, beautiful, ugly. Right? Another one is honest, dishonest. Okay, those are antonym words. It is also <clears throat> the same with opposite adjectives. So when we say kind, of, when we say kind, what do you mean by that? Sorry. Uh, when we say kind, okay, what do you mean by that? Mm, I think it's uh, it's a good character of one person. Yes, very good. It means you think of other people, you are good to them. What about when you're unkind? Um, I think it's... Is it good or uh, bad? Uh, it's bad. Yes, it's the opposite, right? When we say kind, you are good to the other people. But when we say unkind, of course, you are not good to them. Okay, next one. We have the word lazy. Mm. Uh, I think it means that uh, um, a person that uh, a, a person who are don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do anything. You just <laughs> wanted to sit all day. You just wanted to sleep all day. <laughs> yes. All right. For example, your mom asked you, uh, like, 
can you cook for our dinner? And you said, no, I don't like, I'm so lazy, right? It means yeah. you don't like doing anything. What about hard working? Um, it's the opposite of lazy. Yes, very good. It means you like doing something, okay? And next one, we have funny and serious. All right. When you say funny, of course, you uh, you love making people laugh, right? You love making jokes to make fun. And when we say serious, all right, you don't smile at all. <laughs> okay. You rarely smile. All right. What about generous? Do you know this word? Uh, yes, I, I, I remember I have heard that before. Okay, so for example, look, you have extra money and then you saw someone who's who doesn't have food right. and you give him your extra money. It means generous because you share what you have, okay? And that is the opposite of mean, all right? It means you don't care, okay? You don't care, all right? Next one. Uh, let's look at the photos, all right? And do you know the characters, right? For example, look at this picture. Are they funny or serious? Um, serious. All right. Can you say, I think? I think they are serious. All right. You think they are serious. What about? This one, okay. What do you think of her? Um, I think she she is serious too. Okay, you think she is serious too. Okay, so of course, when you are describing someone's character, we will use the word I think, okay, because we are not sure. All right, we just that is only our thought. So I think, for example. I think she's lazy. I think Anna is kind. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So now, look, you will have an activity. Okay. So you will match adjectives in A. All right. For example, this is A with their opposites in letter B. All right, then listen and repeat. We will listen the answer later. Okay, so these are adjectives. You will find the opposite adjectives from these words. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'll give you two to three minutes. You write your answer on your paper, and then later I will ask you to read, okay? Yes. All right, so this is number one. Okay, number two. Number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so we have twelve words.
I'm done. Okay, that's great. Okay, so let me see your answer here. All right, let's see if you got the correct one. All right, what do you think is your answer? Um, I think number one, match with generous. Okay, so we have your mean and then we have generous, right? Number two. Um. Hardworking and lazy. Mm -hmm. All right, hardworking and okay. We have the word lazy. Okay, next. Um, honest and dishonest. Okay, dishonest. Next. Um, talkative with mm -hmm. quiet. All right, quiet. Next one. Uh, weak. Weak uh, and, and strong. All okay, right, strong. All right, next. Um, stupid with mm -hmm. clever. Okay, stupid with. All right, clever. Okay, next one. Um, I don't know how to speak this one. All right, can you say modest? Um, modest. Modest. Mm -hmm. Modest with um, uh, arrogant. All right, arrogant. Okay, what yes. about number eight, shy? Um, shy and confident. All right, confident. So you are shy, but she's confident, right? <laughs> okay, next. Um, we have fun funny. And serious. All right, serious. Next, Pol uh, polite. Um, polite and rude. All right, rude. What? A, okay, rude and, and next we have impatient. Impatient and patient. Right, and patient. Okay. Next one is nice. It will become um, nice and nasty. Okay, nasty. All right. So let's listen. Okay. And let's find out if you got the correct one. Okay. All right. So let's see. Unit one. Lesson one A. Exercise 2. 1. Mean. Generous. Okay, very good. 2. Honest. Dishonest. Dishonest. 3. Hardworking. Lazy. 4. Weak, strong, five, talkative, quiet, six, modest, arrogant, seven, stupid. Clever. Eight. Shy. Confident. Nine. Funny. Serious. Ten. Polite. Rude. 
Eleven. Impatient. Patient. Twelve. Nice. Nasty. Wow, very good. You've got perfect score. You've got twelve out of twelve here. Wow. Did you know? Uh, do you know these words? Or you just guess? Um. Yes, I know almost work. Oh wow, very good. That's why you can answer all, right? <laughs> okay. So what about what do you think is uh, what word do you don't know here? Um, I think it's the arrogant and nasty. All right. So let's find out the word arrogant. What about modest? Do you know the word modest? Um, yes. Okay, so when we say modest, it is the opposite of arrogant. And modest means, okay, it means you are not talking too much, okay, about your abilities or your possession. Means you are not telling other people that you are smart, that you are rich, that you are beautiful, that you are kind, that is modest. You are just silent about your ability or about your success. And arrogant is the opposite. Because when we say arrogant, you are telling other people that you are so smart, you are rich, you are, uh, you are handsome or you are beautiful, okay? <laughs> so, Arrogant is not a good character, okay? Right, because you are telling other people that you have that ability, okay? So you just wait other people to notice that instead of you telling your possessions, okay? What about nasty? All right, nice is a good character and nasty is a bad thing or a bad personality because it means very bad or unpleasant attitude or not good character okay for example you are unkind this is also the same meaning with mean okay or unkind okay it has the same meaning with mean and unkind it means you are not good to other people, okay? Yeah, all right, do you have more questions about these words? Um, no. Okay, what about rude? No, what do you think is the meaning of rude? Um, I think it's the opposite of polite and uh, it means when, when, when a person have a bad treat to uh, someone who who other than them are or uh orderly mm -hmm. okay yes very good it means you don't respect other people okay rude means you are not respecting them okay all right so for example shouting that is rude right for example we are talking here and you shout at me that is rude okay because that is not a good attitude all right so very good now we will okay listen to the dialogues and match an adjective in the box with each person in the table so, for example, here, Ngok, you will tell uh, what is the character or personality of Martha, what is the personality of Ryan, Sam, and Julie based on this dialogue. So, we will listen first. You tell me if, they are, uh, if Martha is arrogant, if Ryan is impatient, if who is lazy among these four, who is funny, who is generous and who is shy, okay? okay? All right, so let's listen first. Lesson 1A, 
Exercise four. One. Look, Martha. Jason Mraz is playing in town on Saturday night. Jason Mraz. Wow, I love him. Let's go. There won't be any tickets left. Let's have a look. Oh, there are tickets left. Shall I book them? It's twenty-five pounds for a ticket. Twenty-five pounds? Oh, I don't have enough money for that. Don't worry, I can pay for you. No, 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 you can't. Really, it's fine. I want to pay for you. I want you to come. I'll pay you back next month. It's okay. It's a present. Two. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Shall we go in? We're waiting for Emily. Well, where is she? She's on her way, I'm sure.、Oh, she's never on time. The film starts in fifteen minutes. She'll be here in a minute. Can you phone her? Why? Tell her to be quick. Let's wait a bit longer before we call her. We have time. <sighs> Let's call her now. No, Ryan. Let's wait. <sighs> Three. I'm not looking forward to the maths exam. Aren't you? I am. I think it'll be really easy. I've definitely got the right kind of brain for maths. I always do well. I read all about it on a website the other day. Do you know about the different types of brain people have? No, I don't. Some people can think really clearly. They understand things very quickly. They're good at maths and science. That's me. Lucky you. I'm really bad at maths. Having said that, I'm good at most things. I learn things really quickly, and I don't have to do a lot of work. I don't think I'll get bad marks in any of the exams. Four. Julie. Julie. Yes. Can you come here, please? Yes, Dad. What is it? Your room is a complete mess. Clothes on the floor, books on the bed. But I've just tidied it. How long did you spend on it? I don't know. Five minutes. Mum always tidies my room. Well, you're old enough to do it yourself. Go and get the vacuum cleaner. Oh, Dad, I'm going out in ten minutes. Can you do it? No way. You're not going out until you've tidied your room. All right. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. So, can you answer? Um. Yes. All right.、Um, Let's just try. Okay. Let's try. What about Martha? Martha. Um. Generous. Oh, generous. Why? Why do you think she's generous? Um. Because I heard in the dialogue. Okay, that she will pay the ticket for his for, or for her friend, right? Yes. Okay, so don't worry, I'll pay, right? Okay. What else? What about Ryan? Um, I think Ryan is impatient. Yeah, he's impatient. Why do you think she's? Oh, he's impatient. Um, because he can wait his friend. You cannot wait for a long time. Like you need to call her, right? It's been a long time. We need to call her, right? <laughs> okay. What about Sam? Um, arrogant. Yes, arrogant. He's arrogant. How did you know that he's arrogant? Um, because I heard in the dialogue that uh he said uh he think the the math is same. Maybe maybe the math is same is、mm -hmm. C. Ah,、uh -huh, um, it's very easy. And then yes. All right, and and the girl said, "Oh, lucky you!" Right? He's ve she's very humble, and like Sam. Oh, I can answer that easily. I can learn things quickly. 
right? <laughs> so with even if they're not asking, he's saying that, all right? He's very good in learning things. So that's not a good thing. What about Julie? Julie? Julie, right? Her yes. that is calling her. <laughs> um, Julie is lazy. Lazy, why? Why do you think she's lazy? Because her dad complain, complain her room. Maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think because very um, good. Yes, because she doesn't want to clean her room. Later, dad. I will clean up later. Later, later, later. Right. <laughs> okay. So what about you, Ngoc? Where is your which of this adjective is your character? Huh? <laughs> Do you have one character here? Are you with these people? Are you one of them? Um, I think I have I have um, a few a few of them. A few of them, yes, of course, all of us. Right? All of us has good character and bad character. Okay, next one. So you did great here. You're very good in listening because I just played it once and you got it already. Okay, because I have uh, some students, they asked me, teacher, what again? Once again, can you play it again? <laughs> All right, but for you, you are great because you have a good listening skill. Okay, and you listen very well. Okay, but if you cannot listen uh, to it clearly, uh, don't be shy to ask me, okay? Yes. All right, so let's move on with this one. So here, listen to the dialogue and match an adjective in the box. Which person in the dialogue, I mean, with each person in the table. Okay, for example, uh, for example, we have here, uh, Martha is generous, impatient, arrogant, and lazy. So is each person personality positive or negative? Um, both, both of them. Uh, both of them are positive and negative? Yes. Okay, how? How did you... Uh, oh yeah, very good, because generous is positive. Right? Is generous a positive uh, character or personality? Yes. Yes. Okay. How about impatient? Um, impatient is a a negative personality. Very good. What about arrogant? Arrogant. It's the same impatient. Okay. Yeah. It's negative too. What about lazy? It's a negative personality. One. Very good. And uh, why do you think generous is a positive personality? Isn't it, um, uh, isn't it tiring that you would share a lot? Um, because I think generous is, uh, is mean kind and uh, it mean I, I kind of some people. That's good and it's it's a good character of person. Mm -hmm. All right, because there is a saying that the more you give, all right, the more you give, the more blessing you will receive. Right? So if you give, if you share the things that you have, all right, the blessing will be more. Okay? <laughs> all right. And what about impatient? Why do you think it is a negative one? Of course, you will become impatient. I don't like hate waiting. Why do you think it's negative? Um, because I think it's uh, it's maybe uh maybe create some some uh, I mean. <clears throat> mm hmm. Some, uh, I, I, I forgot the word to describe it. Okay, for example, uh, for example, what 
if, all right, what if your friend is late because something happened to her, right? So, of course, you should understand why or she is late, okay? So, maybe uh, you can call her and then if she's not answering, maybe you will you will uh, be concerned, right? Oh, what, what uh, maybe there's something wrong, okay? Happens. That's why he's or he or she is late. Okay. Another one is arrogant. Why do you think this is a negative character or personality? Um, because when the people who have this uh this personality uh does make people around them unpleasant. Aha! Uh -huh, very good or uncomfortable. Right, yes. they will become uncomfortable being with them because they will find you. Oh, I don't want to be this person anymore. He's too arrogant. <laughs> okay, all right. So it's okay. It's okay if you tell them that you're good, but okay, but don't sounds like you are arrogant. Okay, maybe yes. you can say, oh, I think I know the answer. Maybe I can help you. Right? Yes. Don't say, oh, I know the answer. Right. It's, that's too easy. That sounds arrogant. So maybe you approach the person in a nice way like, oh, if you don't know the answer, maybe I can help you. Okay? Yeah. What about lazy? Oh, no. I think this is a positive one. <laughs> Being lazy. <laughs> okay. Why do you think it's a negative one? Um, because it's not good for... Uh, if I have lazy, it's not good for me and not good for everyone who around me because uh, this character make people um, become more uh, duty and make people around them become maybe angry. So angry. Yes, especially our mom. Right, <laughs> especially our mom and our dad when we're at home. So they wanted us to to clean first before playing. They wanted us to finish all the housework first before watching and doing anything, right? Or do anything. Okay, very good. You can explain the words correctly. All right, what about this one? Okay. List personality adjectives following the map below. All right, okay, wait. All right, so list personality adjectives following the map below. So can you tell me um, positive adjectives that you know, aside from hardworking? Um, um, I, I don't understand. Oh, you tell me uh, some positive adjectives or some positive personality, okay, that you know. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, or I will, I will tell you about post-city personality first. Um, it generous. Generous. Um. Honest. Honest. Uh, strong. Strong. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's not. Um, m modest. Modest. Um, funny. Funny. Yes, and uh, patient. And patient. Very good. What about the strong? Is it a negative personality? Um, it's. Arrogant. Uh, oh yeah, arrogant. Yes. Uh, dishonest. Dishonest. Yes. Uh, shy. Shy. Um, r rude. Rude. Very good. And nasty. And nasty. What about weak? Weak. Um, it's a negative personality. Yes, and strong is good, right? It's a positive. Okay, not we are not talking about we are not talking about your your physical. Like you can you can uh, what do you call you can carry hard or heavy things. 
Okay. <laughs> like for example, you can carry a big rock. You are strong, right? That's not that one. Okay. For example, uh, for example, uh, um, when you have a problem, okay, and you can face it, right? You are strong, okay, because you don't give up easily. That is the positive one because you are strong. You have a strong emotions. Okay, but when you are weak, like for example, you are facing problems and you give up easily, it means you are weak. Okay, but sometimes, all right, there are times that it is okay to give up. Okay? Yes. All right, especially when you are uh, facing difficult problems, of course, it's pretty normal that you that you give up also, okay? All right. So thank you so much now. All right. So we will find out, find the opposites of these personality adjectives in the word square. <laughs> okay, but I think I'll just give you this one later on because it takes time. You can answer this at, at home, okay? All right. You are going to find the, for example, we have confidence. All right. And this is the opposite of that. All right. Confident. And then at home, you try to look for the words also here. Okay. Okay. All right. So next one. Okay. So look, before we continue this lesson. All right. We will, I will give you an activity again later on. So let's have first a three minute break. All right. Let's have three minute break. You can drink water, you can stretch, you can go to the bathroom if you want. Okay, and let's come back here after three minutes. Okay? Yes. All right.
Okay. <laughs> All right, so go on. This is another activity, okay? We have many activities in this unit, okay? So we have here, you will fill in the blanks with suitable adjectives. When we say suitable, uh, it means uh, correct, okay? Correct or proper adjectives that we can use. For example, okay, for example here, it was very kind of you to help me with my homework. So we use the word or the adjective kind. What about number two? Can you read? Um, uh, I read my answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, she is a bit shy. Mm -hmm. That's why she didn't talk to many people at the party. Okay, very good. Of course, you're you're shy if you don't want to talk to other people. Very good. Next, it's blank to talk with your mouth full. Okay, it's blank to talk with your mouth full. Um, <laughs> You're not sure? <laughs> okay, let's skip that phrase. What about number four? Okay, Sally isn't blank. Oh, Sally isn't very blank. She pretends to listen to another or oh, to other people. Um, I think Sally isn't very patient. Okay, very patient. Let's find out later. Okay, what about number five? Mark is very blank. He always thinks things will get worse. Things will get worse. Mm. I don't know. Okay, you don't know too. All right, let's find out later. What about number six? All the students were very blank towards me on my first day at my new school. All the students were very blank towards me on my first day at my new school. Um, I think all the students were very, very nasty. Oh, so all the students were very nasty. Okay, so let's find out later. You said nasty. Uh, what about? No, no, no. No, I don't know. I changed. I changed the answer. Okay, what is your answer here? Um, rude. Oh, all my all the students were rude. Okay, so rude towards me on my very first day. I remember, this is first day. Okay. Next, number seven, she is too blank to help me with my with the housework. Mm, I think she is too generous to help me with the housework. All right, so you said generous. All right, so you said here, you don't know the answer. You have said impatient. What is this again? Mark is very, oh, you don't know also. And you said rude. Yes. Okay, so let's find out if you got the correct answer here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, what is the answer here? Okay, so we have here the answer. Number one is very good, kind, that's right. You said number two, it's shy. Number three is impolite or rude. All right, so when you are talking with your mouth full, okay, it's rude or impolite. Okay, our mom said or our dad said, don't talk when your mouth is full, right? Do you know this sentence? Yes, yes. Yes, for example, when you're eating, right? Don't talk when your mouth is full because that is rude. Next one, we have number four. It's serious. Okay, Sally isn't very serious. Okay, serious. She pretends to listen to other 
people. Number five, that is pessimistic. Oh, we didn't learn this one a while ago, right? When we say pessimistic, this is the opposite of optimist. Okay, this one. Right, optimistic. All right, so this is good. Okay, and pessimistic is the bad thing. Pessimistic. When we say pessimistic, it means you are always think, right? You always think that something will happen bad, okay? That something will, will get worse. But when you are being optimistic, you are being positive. You will think that good things are happen, okay? Yes. So Mark is very pessimist, pessimistic. He always thinks will get worse. Number six, okay, we have here, okay, we don't have number six, but the answer here is nice, all right? All students were very nice, okay? Nice towards me on my first day at my new school. Of course, when it's your first day, students will be nice to you, right? Because your teacher will say, you need to be nice to your new classmate, right? Okay, next one, she's too generous to help me with the housework. Okay, yes, very good. Generous, or you can say she's too hardworking, okay? Yes. She's too hardworking to help me with the housework. Okay, do you have any question about this sentence or this activity? No. No, okay. So next one, we will practice your speaking skills. So we will talk about one person you know well. So I want you to think of one person that you know well. Okay. Do you have in mind? Mm, yes, I have. Okay, you have. Now that second one, we will describe his or her character and then you will tell me if they're positive or negative and what should they do to improve or to be better okay all right so can it describe or can you tell me first who is this person um it's one of my siblings oh uh, yeah right? one of your siblings she she lives near my house and uh we we are i and her grow up together and i i understand her clearly um she is a a kind of person uh but as uh, she is kind of person because mm -hmm. she's always helped me in life or at school. Yes, and mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes she's also lazy. Uh, lazy? Maybe, yes. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe she's hard working at school uh, and she she don't want to to do anything at home. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but at some time Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, sh beside that she is funny and uh, she is an optimistic person yes um, so I think she is a positive person uh -huh. okay very good and what should she do for her not to become lazy uh, she don't she doesn't do anything <laughs> okay <laughs> she doesn't do anything so what do you think she needs to do so that she will become hardworking uh, what oh. can you tell her mm, I will tell her to clean her room uh -huh. and, yes uh, don't be don't be lazy and um, 
that's it all right very good so that is your sister okay how old is your sister anyway um she's she's uh 17 uh 7 16 16 oh yes. all right so she's 16 who's younger you or your sister who is younger yes uh, who is older? No. Are you older than your sister? Um, yes. I'm yes. older than her one year. Oh, one year. Okay, so I think you are very close to each other. Right? Yes. But you said that she's a kind person because you said that she helps you. All right, she helps you with your homework. She's funny and she's she's optimistic. Okay, so she has more positive personality than negative personality, right? Yes. So I think you just mentioned one negative personality that is uh, that is lazy, right? <laughs> okay, but of course maybe she's uh, just tired at school. Okay, maybe when she grow older, okay, she will become hardworking like you. All right. Okay. So thank you so much for sharing your uh, your sister's personality. Okay. All right. So now, okay. So this is another one. We will learn about present simple and present continuous. Are you familiar with present simple and present continuous? Um, I have heard present simple. All right, you have heard about present simple. So what yeah. is your idea about present simple? Um, I, I don't understand the question. Oh, uh, I am asking, uh, what is your idea or what do you know about present simple? Um, I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so don't worry because we will learn that here in our class. So when we say present simple ngok, it means the action is at present. It means you are doing the action at the moment. Okay, like for example, here, chat, dance, drink, eat, hold, laugh, listen, look at, sit, smile, stand and wear. These are present simple. Okay, and when we say present continuous, it means the action, okay, you are doing the action right now and you are continue doing it, okay, by adding ing, okay, so we have your verb plus ing, all right, that is present continuous, okay. All yes. right, so for example, can you read? Yes, the boy is drinking an orange juice. Okay, very good. So the boy is drinking an orange juice. So how how will you make this one as present continuous using the word uh, the boy? Um, the boy is chat chatting with... Yes, very good, chatting. The boy is chatting next. Um, the boy is dancing with mm -hmm. girlfriend. Yes, with a girl next. Um, the boy is drinking, drinking a bottle of water. Very good. Next one. Uh, the boy is eating dinner. Yes, eating dinner. Next one. The boy is holding a cat. All right, holding a cup, very good, or holding a glass. Next. Um, the boy is laugh, laughing at his friend. Mm -hmm, very good. Next one. Um, the boy is listening to music. Listening to music, very good. Mm, the boy is looking at the tall building. Okay, wow, looking at the tall building. Very good. Next one. Um, the boy is sitting, sitting, sitting on a chair. Yeah, sitting on the chair. Okay, next one. Um, 
The boy is smiling. The boy is smiling. Very good. The boy is standing. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. His friend. Mm -hmm. All right. Standing. Very good. You can say the boy is standing in the middle of the crowd. Right. OK, next. Where? The boy is wearing a shirt. Yeah, he's wearing a shirt. OK, very good. So those are examples of present continuous. So look, we will continue this lesson. All right. Next meeting, we will listen to the audio. OK, and then we will try to answer if it is present continuous or present a simple. OK, so I will give you your homework for Saturday. <laughs> OK, so Saturday, this will be your homework. I want you to describe your personality. OK, a while ago you described your sister's personality. Now I want you to describe your personality using um, positive and negative adjectives. OK. So if you know uh, more adjectives, right, and we didn't learn this here, you can add, you can add more or you can use more adjectives that you know. OK. Yes. All right. So please practice reading. Uh, all the words or all the adjectives that we have learned so that you can use that when you describe someone's personality. Someone's personality, okay? Yes. All right. Do you have any question? No. No, you don't have? All right. So if you don't have a question, I think let's call it a day. Thank you again for having you. Nice to have you in my class. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Say goodbye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.